for randomization, instead of uh, randomize the character itself, what we're going to do is randomize the UI values. So it's set up when you randomize it, every value is going to be in its place. You know? Um, how is this made? So I have already connected this button to, with this signal that calls this function in the randomizer script. And how it works? Uh, we first randomize the UI values. We have this, uh, all the all the sliders stored in an array, and I will show you how I made it. So you have this recursive array getter that looks in all the tree and finds if a node has any children and repeats itself until you get all the nodes in the tree. And here, if that node is is of a class of color picker or a slider, uh, we store it in the color presets array or in the slider array. So we can have access to all the sliders to randomize them or the color pickers. So in the randomizer, we just iterate in the sliders array. And with, with this exception that needs different values, we already initialize its, uh, its slider with a, with a max value. Um, yeah, you simply get this value and you change it. So this emits a signal. The slider changes and reflects the change to the character. The color presets works in a different way, but it's pretty much the same. So uh, what we're going to randomize is not these colors, but these color presets. So we have to select one random color and emit a signal simulating that you clicked. Uh, for this we have to search in the dictionary of the colors we, we got here in the in the script and we iterate in those colors and we emit the signal. We get a random and if it's that value we emit that signal. So we sim we're simulating that we press that button randomly. Uh, we do the same with the paint of the head, but this time we are already uh, randomizing this color. Because we don't have presets for that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So then we need to randomize the bones. This is going to go directly to the character. And yeah, what we're doing is getting a transform. Um, get it a random rotation in a round range between a scale limit we we set so probably it should be the same limit as you have when you grab it and that's it it's quite easy you get the scale limit i want for this specific part i generate an empty transform i translate this transform in a range range with the scale limit and then we get this bone and we set the the custom pose that's it. For the blend shapes, uh, we have a problem here because we don't want to randomize the positive and negative values of, of a single shape. So for example, we don't want this to be randomized and get uh, this value and then this value could go anywhere. So instead of this, what we are doing is we are iterating on all the blend shapes and we are storing the name. We don't want to tweak these two blend shapes because this works by a slider and this works by code. But what, what we are doing mainly is we are getting this blend shape and the next blend shape. Here. So, uh, we are comparing these two strings. We are going to remove the last character. Here, we are going to split the substring so we have for example this blend shape and the next blend shape so we're going to compare if they have the same name but without the, the values at the end uh, if they have the same name we can either randomize this or this but never both at the same time so we go around int of, of two so we have 0 or 1. So if it's 0, we are going to randomize 
this current blend shape and we are going to set the next one to zero same with the beard and the hair and if it's one we are going to randomize the next blend shape and we are going to set the the other to zero and that's it this is quite difficult to explain but i think it's more or less clear <laughs> 